I have a name for you. Kurt Manchios. Is that so? The master of the Sabbath? The man himself. Mr. Manchios couldn't stand to lose control over his lover. A deadly revenge that deserves a proper sentence. I have all the evidence to charge him. A degenerate and a murderer. I'll make a name thanks to that for sure. As for my part, not everything was in place. Perhaps some documents were transferred somewhere else, but I couldn't find a trace of them. Then I remembered the discarded document drawers where we put the lost papers or the badly labelled ones, including the crime scene report of Violet Holmes's case. Everything I've found is on the desk here. Take it. Your persistence has saved me. Yeah, well, we had a deal after all. Your friend is free then. You can leave. Good luck, Constable. So this is it. Report number 0743. Officers arrived to find the deceased in the, the deceased identified as, Miss, as Mr. Holmes lying in the garden of Stonewood Manor. Special inspection showed that the victim to be thoroughly soaked with a deep vertical in wait what? Soaked with a deep vertical incision. Two inches in length down her throat. Her face was swollen and covered in red blotches, like the cause of death, hypoxia. Awaiting confirmation from medical examiner. Main suspect Otto Richter was arrested on the scene. The body was sent for autopsy. Garden. There's a garden behind our manor. How could I forget? That's where it all happened, where it all went wrong. Sherry, it looks like you've almost found what you wanted. Hmm. Inside her throat, but vertical slash in her throat doesn't mean it'll be inside. I mean, it must be like, yeah, it's slit like that. She drowned. She didn't drown. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. Unless. It would be a final humiliation by the killer or a desperate attempt to save her. She didn't drown. Can I uh, talk to Mr. Vogel? Is he here? He's gone. He still might be in the station or he is outside. You did it, Sherlock. The case is closed and all rewards belong to the winner. Bravo. It is merely the triumph of the truth. Is it? No compromises? No lies? You're happy with your decisions? It was the best decision I could obtain. The truth must be told in the way it is most acceptable. You're making progress, Sherlock. I was right to believe in you. By the way, did you get that precious information about your mother? Oh, not that you must. Yes, I did. Forgive my intrusion in such a personal matter. I simply worry I'm failing to be of much help to you. Actually, you were. For some reason, all the archives on the case had disappeared. This was a rare opportunity to obtain the impossible. Outrageous. Perhaps someone found the truth unpleasant. Society usually rejects those who speak with too much honesty, doesn't it? A comfortable lie is often preferred to an uncomfortable truth. Still, I believe that the latter should prevail, and I cannot remain silent. That's quixotism at its best. Your mere truth cannot defeat institutions, systems, and power. 
etiquette, religion, marriage, they're all lies told to preserve connections, love and sanity, and it's all corruptible. Lies destroy human dignity. How could you make a free decision without any knowledge of the truth? Are we really free to decide anything in this world, Sherlock? Well, uh, well, well, yeah, we are free. Oh, yes. It's a struggle, but yes, we can make our own decisions. That's what I fight for. And what an endless fight it is. Will you ever give yourself a break, Sherlock? You're a walking contradiction, Sherlock. You refuse to lie to others, but constantly lie to yourself. How long until the train comes off the track? I cannot look away, but perhaps I should take a few steps back. You're an accident waiting to happen, dear. Until then, I shall bid you adieu. Hmm. Well, we do have some money. But I think we're gonna head back. Sherry, Sherry, please listen to me. Sherry. John, I always listen to you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to go through. I don't know what is beyond this door, but I can feel it buzzing, angry, like a fly at the window. I know. I can sense it too. You locked away this memory for a reason. There is only pain here. Pain? And truth? You do not need to suffer either. There is so much more we can do on Cordona, so many others we can help. There is no coming back from this. Oh, so this is like the, the final thing. Well, yeah, I think I'm ready to finish it. John, my anima, my brother, there is nothing more important in this moment than this truth. I know you fear for me, but my path was set long ago. I can no more step off it than I can ask the avalanche to roll back uphill. Just... Please be careful, Sherry. I love you. Quite. Come on. We'll go together. I remember we had such a big garden. Maybe you forgot it for your own good. That's the descendant of a tree your father planted in London, correct? Indeed, we planted the sprout here and for a while it grew happily. Alas, it seems without us here to care for it, it didn't survive. Shame. Yes, the statue of Merope. My mother was trying to restore it. Pity she never had the opportunity to finish. Nothing here. Is that the raft we made together, John? Looks more like a pile of rotten planks now.
Oh, we have a memory over there. That's from Mother's favorite tea set. What is it doing in here? Oh shit. Are we in Minecraft? No, we're not. Come here, Sherry. Hurry. must help calm her down. Oh shit. What are you thinking about? Is everything all right? No, it's not. What are you thinking about? Is everything all right? No, uh, no, 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 shit. No. We brought tea, tea and sedatives. Risk of side effect. Dr. Richard experimented on my mother with the conventional drugs and treatments. Every dose had a risk of a side effect. My mother used sedative frequently, so her body must have built up a tolerance. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a danger to her. She didn't drown. She drowned. Someone drawn my mother either by accident or purpose. Allergic reaction. My mother had an unexpected allergic reaction to her medication and she suffocated. Someone tried to slit her throat in order to make her breathe in. Maybe that's why. Maybe the... This artifact from Mother's collection. Mother's work journal. I liked poring over the detailed pages and reading about my parents' collection. Now we're inside here. We'll just borrow it for a while. Did you hear that? Someone's coming. Let's take a peek. You, you call, call this progress? progress. Short, Short. Amateur. amateur. I'm not, I'm not letting, letting you anywhere near my, near my mother, mother again. again. Any result is progress, even if it is a worsening of her condition. It informs my... No, no. I have I made, made my decision. decision. She, she must, must be sent, sent to a legitimate medical facility. facility. I will, I will not, not let, let her hurt Shogun. What? Master Holmes, you do not understand. That will be all. I expect you to have left the house by week's end. Sherry, say something. Can you hear me? You're scaring me. Sherry, say something. Can you hear me? You're scaring me. Uh. Oh shit. Hold on. Sherry, come here, darling. She, did she try to hurt us? I'm waiting. Coming, mother. This was for my mother, wasn't it? I remember how we came to the garden for a breath of fresh air. <sighs> Oh 
Oh shit. Take me to my flowers, Sherry. They must already be in bloom. As you wish, Mum. I bet you missed the fresh air, didn't you? Terribly. The sun is far brighter than I remember. But I like it. We can walk each day from now on. If you want. That would be wonderful. Oh, dear. Just look at them. The stars of the earth. Even the sky must be jealous of their beauty. Indeed. Mother, would you like to go around the water? That would be perfect. Oh no. I always wanted such a nice pond in London. Oh no. It looks so peaceful. Mycroft knew you would like it. Oh uh, no, don't do it. We should put some fish in it. Do you think? It's a bit How about some carp? It's a bit narrow That's here. That's a nice idea. There's a boat there. How are we able? Let's visit your father's tree. It grows so fast, just like you. We could even but... build a tree house in it. <laughs> yes, Sherry. But uh, why are we? How can we even put the pusher like this? Speaking of your father, could you call him out, please? Mom, he's. I'm sorry. He passed away. He's gone. No, he's not. I'm telling the truth. Did you forget again? No. Don't you dare say such things. No. You no. are a liar like all the others. Mother. Don't call me that. You aren't fooling me. No. You... Mommy hurts. My son would never lie. No. Mom, stop. Who are you? Reveal yourself! Please, to whom? It's me, Sherlock! You are not my Sherry! Give me my stuff, I can't call you! Mycroft. Oh dear. Uh, right. Mental disease. Mycroft testi testified. Mycroft called Richard. Mycroft accused Dr. Richard, Richard for a mother's death. He's here in the garden. Mental disease. My mother tried to kill me. True. Allergic reaction. John is a killer. Uh, no, I, I killed my mother without knowing it. The idea to give her sedative came from John, which means that I cannot trust my own mind. To heal myself, I must get rid of John. Minecraft is the truth to protect me. Why would you do that? I cannot see this. I'm responsible for my mother's death. It was my idea to give her medication, which caused her allergic reaction that killed her. It's my guild. My computer should protect me now. I don't know. Otherwise... Deliberate murder. Ought to kill my mother to end her suffering and save my life. My computer should protect me and was correct in accusing Otto. Ought to kill my mother while trying to save me. The drowning was an accident. And he desperately attempted to... Uh, Maybe, yeah. This, I think, could very well be the truth. 
Although I am not sure. I don't think it was John, however. So, uh... Yeah. Hmm. I think it was this. The drowning was an accident and he desperately attempted to... But she didn't drown, right? Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe. I'm, I'm going for that. It's an accident. Yes, I, I, I'm i sure. Sherlock. Sherlock. Can you hear me? Come on, wake up. Get off me. Sherry. You knew and more than that you hid it from me you couldn't bear the truth sherlock so i shouldered it for you i took your pain your horror otto richter murdered my mother and mycroft covered it up whisked me away from this place buried me in schoolwork and and left the past to rot and you needed a way to cope so i helped you were a lie john a fiction a crutch no I was... I was a friend. Oh, there he is. Sherlock. Please. Sherlock? What? Are you okay? I don't know. I told you not to come, Sherlock. Where is he? Who? Your friend, John. He's beside you. Was all this worth it? Is he worth it? Why, Why is, is he, he here? here? I think, in his own way, he was trying to protect me. A truth I couldn't bear. But now I must face it. Sherlock? Wait, wait, what are we doing? What are you doing? You... You kept me in the dark and kept your actions quiet. You enabled Richter and his untested quackery for far too long. And worse, you wanted to lock up our mother. I wanted to give you a chance at normalcy, a childhood. There was no changing what happened, no good to come of dwelling in the past. It was lies upon lies. Otto Richter was trying to save her, but you decided he deserved to take the fall. Is that justice? The big picture, Sherlock. The big picture. Perhaps Richter was not responsible for her fit of rage, but his treatment led inexorably to that moment. You were so fragile. I could not... I, I just couldn't. I chose us over him. You know... For once, I believe you. Perhaps now that the truth is out, I can actually do what you had hoped leave it all in the past good you have your whole life ahead of you sherlock it is time you got on with it well can we not try to clear him but what about him i was worried there for a minute sherry really worried I didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> mm, what's so funny? I am talking to myself, John. I think I was hurt regardless. But we made a good team, eh? 
explored every inch of this place together, helped a lot of people, terrorized a few too, I suppose. I think I may go so far as to say, Sherry, that I have not lived wholly in vain. So that's it. It's over. You've opened every door, Sherry. Faced the past, you locked away. You don't need me anymore. I know. I will miss you all the same. I don't want you to go. Oh no. Yes. You do. Goodbye, John. Well, I will enjoy not having him around. At the same time, I will sorely miss him. Because, yeah, he was... Uh, uh, well, he was, uh, well, rather dull. Vogel. Why are you here? Closure, I suppose. And to help a friend. You and I are not friends. In a race between the thawing of the ice caps and our friendship, I would buy a boat. Ha! Is that right? I can see it now. I know what you did. What did I do? You... You needled me. From the moment we met, you were searching for weakness. You pushed me to pursue the truth about my mother. You questioned it. everything I did, everything I believed to... To break me. To blur truth and fiction, reality, morality. A saboteur and silk. Was it vengeance for him? Or do you prefer Klaus? Excuse me? You are Klaus Richter, Otto's younger brother. Do you hold me responsible for his end? Ha! There was no love lost between me and my brother. I am sure you can relate. Otto was merely the gravity that pulled me into your orbit. Or you into mine. Once I met you, I could not keep away. Why? What reason do you have for all this? To help you. You're lying. To show you that you were wrong. More lies. I know you now, Werner. Try again. To see what had happened. Or is that yet another untruth? Does it matter? Take your pick. Who cares? You're my masterpiece. I turned Sisyphus into Ozymandias. You could not see the futility of your quest until I helped you to let go of the rock. And now, nothing beside remains. I remain. Despite you and to spite you. It is a matter of will and power now. Will you overcome this or shall you decay? Oh, on that note, I brought you something. It did? I want nothing more from you. When one wants for nothing, Sherlock, the best thing to get them is something personal. So, here you are. A painting. Now, please excuse me, but the gallery calls. I'm already conceiving my next project. It's a painting. But open it. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look great? You really are beautiful. Well, uh, what a mockery. My brother returned to London soon after our disagreement. He enrolled at Cambridge University, but attends only the rare classes that hold his interest. I hear he took employment at a hospital laboratory, obsessing over his experiments. I suppose he seeks solace in the empirical truth of a chemical test. I am afraid for him. His evenings are spent alone, solving citizens' menial mysteries to pass the time. And I suspect he is growing paranoid. One of my agent's vehicles recently ignited during a surveillance operation. She was lucky to get out alive. There is only one man who could orchestrate such a feat. Or perhaps two. I saved my brother. He will never forgive me. Oh, 
What the hell are we doing? <laughs> I found it! I found it! I found it! And what is that? John? How far, um, bruises may be produced after death? How are you? You have been in uh, Afghanistan, I perceive. How on earth did you know that? Uh, never mind. The, um, the question now is about bruising. No doubt you see the significance of this discovery of mine. Uh, it is interesting, no doubt, but practically... Uh... Why, it is the most practical medico-legal discovery for years. Had we these data sooner, hundreds of men would have paid the penalty for their crimes. Cases oft hinge upon how a man died. Now, we can know which wounds he suffered alive, which occurred post-mortem, and what instrument was responsible. And ergo, one will soon be able to calculate with utmost precision when and where death occurred, sparing the innocent and damning the guilty. Well... Then you are to be congratulated. Indeed. But uh, uh, you came here on business. <laughs> Correct again. I, I am looking for someone with whom to take diggings and heard you were complaining that you could get no one to go halves with you. I have my eye on a suite in Baker Street which would suit us down to the ground. You don't mind the smell of strong tobacco, I hope? I smoke ships myself. That's uh, good enough. I get in the dumps at times and don't open my mouth for days on end. Just let me alone and I'll soon be right. What have you to confess now? It's best for two fellows to know what bruises each other carries before they begin to live together. My last companion and I... Well, I object to rouse because my nerves are shaken. And I get up at all sorts of ungodly hours. <laughs> and I am extremely lazy. I have another set of vices when I'm well. Those are the principal ones at present. Do you include violin playing in your category for rout? <laughs> it depends on the player. A well-played violin is a treat for the gods. A badly played one. Oh, oh, no, that's all right. I think we may consider the thing as settled. Oh, uh, forgive my manners. My attention wavers. Sherlock Holmes. Dr. John Watson. John. <laughs> well, there we have it. I'm not sure if there are any, um, like, uh, more endings. Or if there's only one ending to um, this game. It feels like it could maybe be different choices of dialogue, but I'm not sure if it would play out any differently. So, uh, I don't think there's an ending where we will kill Mycroft, actually. That's, uh, that feels a little bit of a leap. But yeah, I liked it. Like I said at the beginning, I can understand why some people can just not get into it. The game sort of is like, here, take the, this and uh, play it. And that's it. it. It doesn't really help you along the way. Uh, you need to, like, look for that. So I can understand that, though. Uh, but overall, it was great. I really like the voice actor of uh, Shao. I'm not sure who it is. I recognize, but I cannot put my finger on it. I'm gonna look that up. I think it was a great choice. Uh, John, however, uh, I... Uh, well, as I already explained, he had his moments, but most of the time he was just a pain. And I... I was not expecting that the game would be set on Cardona. I was hoping it would be in England, but... I don't know. I hope the next game will be in England. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's see. Um, we're going to be skipping this. And we get sent back here. <laughs>